Are you ready? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Andy's Fitness Fortress, the Citadel of Power. Everybody knows that bodybuilders and fitness athletes the world over needs nutritious meals for muscle recovery and body maintenance. But today we're going to go over what you should be preparing those in and reheating those in. Healthy containers versus unhealthy, toxic containers. But before we get into that, as always, I'd like to invite you guys to fnfit.com. Go to the blue highlighted link and this or any of my other videos description section. Click on the link and you'll be transferred to fnxfit.com where you better take advantage of 15% off all supplementation and apparel. Thanks guys, let's get started. All right, as I told you, I wanna get into toxic containers. Um, we've been conditioned and programmed to use microwaves probably since we were children, okay? But everyone knows now that they are very toxic. I actually have a microwave versus toaster oven video up. Um, there's a lot of chemicals that are released. Uh, it toxifies your food, but the main thing is it has BPA. Those containers have BPA and phthalates in them, which are complicated chemicals that release hormones into your body. And these hormones mix up your body's own hormones. So they increase estrogen levels in men and um, just wreak havoc on women's um, body chemistry as well, okay? So these are hormones, BPAs, Okay, they have uh, endocrine disruptors. Okay, builds up estrogen in men, like I said, and this also decreases your testosterone stores. So, when you're training for mass, size, or just living your life, you know, trying to keep on as much testosterone as you can. Okay, you need to eliminate anything that's going to decrease your testosterone stores. Okay, and BPA's increase estrogen levels in men and decrease testosterone levels. All right, gluten food does that also. All right, gluten food decreases uh, testosterone levels in men and increases estrogen levels. So you wanna try to eliminate that as well, okay? Now the thing is, uh, for microwaves, um, you know, they have unique qualities. Once you put plastic containers in there, or any type of plastic, um, the chemicals bind with the heat, okay? And they interact with the food, all right? Which is what causes the food to become diminished nutrient wise and also poisoned at the same time guys this is very important you know we have little kids johnny becky running around breakfast table we're heating up their lunch we don't even think of it but we say oh go pop that in the microwave johnny these hormone disruptors okay these bpas that are released also they disrupt the um the aging process in children they actually uh slow it down and they actually disrupt their growth process this is crazy. That's why in my other videos, I say, guys, they do not care about us. They do not care about us, okay? It stunts growth in children. So there's a lot of things that come with using a microwave and plastic containers that you wanna get out of, right? Now, like I said, these BPAs and phthalates are absorbed by the food. So not only are you toxifying the food and decreasing the nutritional value of the food, okay, but that food, once ingested, is wrecking havoc on your body because of the toxins that is taken with it. All right, so, you know, like I said, it decreases your hormone levels, your testosterone levels as men. Gluten also does this. So as bodybuilders, athletes, and just regular human beings, you want to try to eliminate cooking or reheating food in any type of plastic container, all right? Now, the remedy for all this, guys, you got stoneware, you got glass, and you got um, ceramic ware. Okay, all these are oven safe, all right, and they don't contain BPAs. And the great thing about it is that when you heat food up in BPA free containers, okay, if you don't have ceramic or glass, get BPA free containers, guys, like this, all right. Also, have three spaces, three compartments, two sides, and for a main course, okay. They all, um, Major stores sell it. They all come with lids, okay? Take these out. Three compartments. Awesome. BPA free, dishwasher safe, okay? Now, I just got these. I've had these for about six months. I'm about to throw them away. These are larger, okay?
okay? More ergonomic and um, it's newer. Another thing I've learned, guys, these are dishwasher safe, okay? But when you wash your BPA free containers, put them in the top shelf, the top rack of the dishwasher, okay, to eliminate the heating element in your dishwasher. Because when stored on a lower rack, the heating element that makes the water hot actually releases uh, chemicals, you know, into, you know, plastic containers or from plastic containers. So you definitely want to use BPA free, you know, if you can't get a hold of any right now, this second. All right. So if you don't have BPA free containers or you have them, but you also would like to use other options, like I said, glass, Pyrax, Pyrax the company makes glass Tupperware. Uh, all different sizes. I have a size larger than this. You can see this is my post-workout meal. Okay, I'm going to be making or eating brown rice and barbecue chicken legs. This is Pyrex uh, glassware. Okay, it is oven safe. Okay, I actually heated this up in my oven. You can even put this in the toaster oven that I have back here. I have a video on toaster ovens versus microwaves. All right, totally heat resistant, 600 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a, um, a large baking pan, but you have something in it, you don't want to pull it out, you can use these. ShopRite sells them, Walmart sells them, Whole Foods, everybody, okay? Glass, ceramic, or BPA containers, all right? Now, the BPA containers, they come with, uh, I'm sorry, the glass virus containers come with BPA-free lids, okay? This is the lid to my larger container. But these are all dishwasher safe, and all um, oven, oven safe, you know, without the lids, the glass is oven safe, and the uh, glass and the lid is dishwasher safe. All right, guys? So you wanna maintain 100% of the integrity of your food, you know, the nutritional value, the nutritional density of your food, um, the amino acid profile, the nutrients, the macronutrients, okay, the vitamins, you wanna maintain all of that. And the way to do that is to eliminate using your microwave. Like I said, I have a video up on toaster ovens versus microwaves and the benefit of toaster ovens. Check that out also. Just wanted to make a quick video for all you guys um, prepping your meals, reheating them at home for you, your kids. This is very important. Um, they have, you know, uh, ceramic containers in different colors. Glass containers, like I said, they are oven safe. So you can heat them in an the oven, let it cool down, Put a lid on top of this, snap it on, and even take it to work. I put rubber bands around it, just take it to work. If my BPA-free containers are dirty, okay? Or in the dishwasher, whatever. But that's about it, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a really quick video about healthy uh, containers that you can prep and contain your food in and eat out of um, and not worry about reheating. Like I said, when you reheat, when you have hot food and you put it in these and BPA-free containers, your food will stay in here, um, will stay warm inside of this for about two hours, okay? It's not like you're just leaving your food out for 14 hours. Two hours at work, you don't put it in the fridge, just leave it in your work area or your, you know, cafeteria. It will stay warm. You don't even have to be heated. That's the beauty of it, okay? So guys, keep that in mind. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out fnxfit.com. Go to the blue highlighted link in this description or any description section of any of my other videos. And uh, check out some apparel and um, gear for yourself, all right? Thank you guys so much for listening. I really appreciate you guys. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Share the video. And we'll see you next time on Manny's Fitness Force.